Alright, so this is my review for a Daniel Radcliffe and uh, Daniel Weber uh, movie that came out this year. Um, I believe I've seen the trailers for it last year, but the movie is called uh, Escape from Pantera. Um, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. It is a true history movie which is based on two white guys in South Africa that are part of the Mandela um, movement in the 70s. And they were uh, labeled and prosecuted for as terrorists. Um, but it was more of like, a, th th I heard this before in other countries in the past that if you spread propaganda, they will uh, mark you as terrorists. Um, I believe that's still a thing in some like third world countries, uh, like Saudi Arabia and whatnot. Um, what they what they did is they they uh, had they had explosions that that would show um, like confetti with uh, propaganda photos, uh, propaganda stuff. Um, no one got hurt. The the whole if you know anything about the Mandela thing, and I don't know whole much about it. I didn't hear about him until a couple years ago when he died. I think it's like what four or five years ago. I could be wrong on that. Um, but apparently he was president at one point and he was arrested along with these other guys um, Marked as terrorists and whatnot that there were plea against um, The oppression of the government and all this stuff all these white people and the government uh, government and whatnot were were treating and uh, and seeing black people as a certain way it was it was it was it was in the 70s but it was like it was in before 1950 and before of uh, in America where they they saw black people as not equals and they were they would beat them and whatnot and they definitely had a lot of of uh, racialness to this movie um, but this is how they got in there and their story and how they got out and there was definitely a lot of uh, Very creative thinking on their part of doing stuff uh, You kind of I've heard about the stuff in prisons in general But in American prisons of how they create stuff to to get in and out of the prison and whatnot um, if you want to know more about that and what it's like prison was like at least in America go check out uh, Larry Lawton's channel. He has stories of when he was in pr uh, prison and um, they're just really fascinating. And so I wasn't really surprised about the stuff that they did in here, but I was just really intrigued that the, the creative stuff that they did. Um, and it just shows you uh, what it was like over in South Africa from the people to the prisons to what it was like the day to day. Um, it also it also shows most of it in the, the movie is mostly in the prison But you get a whole bunch of of how people were and maybe most likely still are to some degree um, It honestly was heart-wrenching to watch of all the um, the hate that was coming from these white people and and uh, you know this makes you 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 happy um, to some degree that you don't live over there but at the same time we have our own issues here in America a whole lot of them are still a little bit behind on on those things and I made a video about uh, part of that and um, I don't know how people took it I got like, a couple likes on it so I only have 122 people so but it just shows the sheds of light on how it was in South Africa and pro again so probably is. But it, it talks about their what their beliefs were and um, how they got out of prison, which we, they were told, like you hear a lot of times in movies, is they were told that they their their likelihood of get, uh, getting out of uh, to, by uh, escaping was low, and they eventually get out. And there's some fabrication to this story for sure uh, but I felt like more of it on this one was way more true and solid they they added a third guy in here that got out and 
that guy, but from the credits is, and from my understanding, is there was only two guys, so they definitely added him in for more dramatic effect to the story. Um, it, it, it was a really interesting thing, and I, I, I don't, Radcliffe is the only one I actually recognize. Um, Daniel Weber, um, I believe he was in a movie with Thomas something. I believe his Tom name is Thomas something. He's got to play Ragnar. And I did a review on that, and I don't remember his call. It's been a while. Um, other than that, from what I could see, I didn't see him in anything I recognized other than the Punisher show, but I can't recall who was in that. Um, but everyone did a great job in here, and... Um, Definitely a well good story that it definitely keeps you on your feet. Uh, definitely suspenseful towards a certain part uh, to the point where it was actually I was just grinding my teeth and down the edge of my seat just waiting for something bad to happen. Even though I already knew in my mind that they were going to get out, you know, but it, it was really good uh, tasteful movie and I definitely loved it. Um, I definitely give it high scores five out of five stars and i highly recommend it um if you have seen this please leave in the comments uh what you thought of it are you a fan of daniel radcliffe have you heard of daniel weber are you a fan of him uh please like and subscribe and i'll be having something out uh friday hopefully um sometimes it depends on my mood um yeah i mean love everyone appreciate everyone you know, just spread the love. Um, skull, everyone.